Cooking Shorts by Ryan Thomas. This is Ryan Thomas, and on this episode, we make, what are we calling it? Badass avocado? Avocado pesto. <laughs> and on this episode, we make badass avocado pesto. All right, so for the first thing, it's touching my eyeball. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, so first step, we're gonna first prep the pasta. In this case, we're using these alien penises, aka green squash. Um, and we're gonna use my new fancy fandangled spiralizer. If you don't have one of these, you can, of course, just finely chop your green squash, zucchini, um, carrot, lettuce, sponges, your own. It's 2016. I don't judge what you put in your spiralizer, but I'm gonna go with the green squash. So we're gonna first wash it. But before I do that, first step, wash your hands. Keep up, keep up. Wash your hands. We don't want any of these kids with boogers floating around in their pasta. Forcibly insert and just spiralize. All right, so what you'll end up with is these nice little stringy spaghetti-like structures. That was a long one, <laughs> that was a long one. Um, and my spiralizer it has two settings. It has a wider one and a skinnier one, so I can get two different kinds. Let's Let's mix it up. Let's see what happens. Just spiralize and spiralize. Think about life. Think, how, think about how great your life is, spiralizing. While you're spiralizing, you're just gonna think about life. Maybe you've got some doctor's appointments coming up. Maybe there's a hot babe in school who you've been too afraid to talk to. Just think about her and how much she would like to be spiralizing with you. So I'm doing about five green squashes. And if you're ask, if you're saying to yourself, and if you're saying to yourself, damn, that's a lot of green squash. Yeah, I know, it's a lot. But if you want to fight me, you can fight me. That's fine. I don't care. I'll take anybody. Spiralizing is done. Find the bottle of olive oil that has like no olive oil left in it and then drizzle that on here. And just mix that around for right now. Just coat it in olive oil. All right, if you haven't figured this out already, I'm doing this on the fly. I have no idea what I'm doing and no recipe. You know why? Because I'm the best chef in the world. Also, I'm an astronaut. Put olive oil, salt, and pepper in there. We're gonna set it aside. We're gonna move on to making the pesto. To make a mess, you gotta clean it up. Just like your mother, just like your Uncle Stanley told you. If you make a mess, you gotta clean it up. Thanks, Uncle Stanley, for teaching me that lesson. Alright, so now we're gonna make the creamy avocado pesto sort of concoction that I don't have a recipe for. I'm winging it right now. But the main ingredient for any pesto is obviously basil. I picked myself up a nice little bushel of fresh basil 
and uh, let's chop it up a little bit. Don't worry about chopping it up too much because we're just going to throw it in the blender. If you don't have a blender, you're a loser and you should probably go and buy one. So how I chop up my basil for the pesto is I clump it up into a nice ball like this, clumping it up like that, and then I take my knife and I cut it. Keep up, kids, keep up. Just slicing it up. And like I said, it doesn't really matter. Do these stems matter that they're in there? I have no idea. Basically what's gonna happen is, I'm gonna throw this all into the blender and taste it and see if it tastes good. Basil. Basil. Oh, this is exhausting. Cut up an avocado. I'm gonna say one avocado should be good for the amount that I'm making. You experiment on your own. I'm not a scientist, I'm the greatest chef in the world. So, what we're gonna do here is cut up this avocado and the avocado is gonna give the, uh, kind of the creaminess to it. Give it that smooth, silky texture. Watch this samurai, I'm also a samurai. Watch the skills, ready? Now imagine if that was your head. Dicing and dicing like uh, Donatello. All right, avocado in the blender. Mm, let's do one lemon. One whole lemon. And the lemon, I'm just gonna complement that basil, help brighten it up. We'll get the seeds in there. Oh, look what we have, dollar store. <laughs> My hands are slippery from the avocado. All right, here we go. Yeah. Now let's add our garlic. I have minced garlic because I'm lazy and I don't feel like chopping up garlic every single night for my eight children and their friends. Four cloves, three, three cloves, four cloves. I don't know. Let's say you had three cloves. Super secret, special ingredient, nutritional yeast. Why am I putting this in? Let me tell you. I'm using this as a replacement for Parmesan. Um, super good for you, high in B vitamins, so if you're not getting your B vitamins, add this to your diet. It's really good and it just gives like that cheesy flavor. Last thing is our olive oil. Make sure you get the olive oil container where you have to be an American Gladiator or to get it open. Put the lid on. Uh, let's do liquefy. Why not? Let's liquefy. You're gonna need a pan, a large pan, enough to fit all of your um, zucchini pasta in there. In my case, I'm using kind of like a saucepan. Throw in some of this zucchini pasta. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Just want to lightly crisp it up just a little bit because if you cook it down too much, the zucchini pasta is gonna get too mushy and it's gonna be it's basically just gonna turn into mush. We want we still want like a nice little crunch, a little snap. We want that al dente sort of feel to it. So you don't want to cook the shit out of it. Now grab yourself some tongs and every once in a while just turn it ever so gently. Just give it a little. Toss. Grab those last little nuggies. Pesto that we made. Put a couple dollops in there. And Toss it up, get everything coated nice. Yeah, so just get everything nicely coated in that pesto that we made. And literally put it in a bowl and 
eat it. You can serve this to your girlfriend, you can serve this to your boyfriend, you can serve it to your mother or father, maybe your dog, a family pet dog, Fido, or maybe his name's Steve. Some more recipes by me. Click this link right here. Bing, 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 bing.